Okay, how's it going? This is Hellbent, and welcome to Auto Hotkey GUI short tutorial number six. In this one, we're going to look at how to change the background of our GUI. So, let me run what we have. So, right now we have this blank GUI with a white background, but let's say that we want to change it to something else. So, changing its color is similar to the way that we changed our text color. So, we have the same amount of options with our color. So, we can have it black, white, purple, whatever we want. If, we, if it doesn't have a name, we can use the, the hex color code and we can change it that way just the same as we did with our text. But uh, for this example, we're just going to change it to a simple, we'll do a couple of different colors. So the way we change our GUI's color is we just somewhere in our GUI, we type in GUI and then color and then a comma and whatever color we want it to be. So for this first example, we'll change it to black. And there we go, we have a black background. Now what happens if we were to add in a some text? So let me add in a text control. So there we go, we've added in some text, but we can't see it. Right, so what we'd have to do is obviously we'd have to either change the background of our of our GUI or we'd have to change our text. Okay, so keep that in mind when you change in the background. Make sure that the the two colors are in stark opposite because the closer they are together, the harder it's going to be for you to see. For example, let's say I think it's. I think it's that I think that works okay so there we go so we have two colors that are pretty close to being very similar so it's hard to read our text so keep that in mind and like I said you can change your color to anything you want you can use the hex code um, or one of the 16 I think 16 named ones okay so that's it for this tutorial if you'd like to see more of these tutorials if you'd like to keep these tutorials coming be sure to hit the like button or the dislike button if you fail to do that you'll understand why I stopped making these tutorials and have a good day and I'll see you on the next one